Hello YouTube, dwilly 92 here. I've had a question come up about my auto reset combination lock. I had mentioned in my last video about a uh, multi-sequence layout uh, via chaining them. I had a user ask me about that, they were having a little bit of trouble. So I've decided to just throw this design together and this video really quickly. Hopefully shed some insight on the issue and sort it all out. Um, this is what we will be designing. I'll only probably throw together the first bit of it, make it easier for everyone, and so I'm not sitting here talking for another hour. Because as much as I like to listen to myself talk, I'm sure you're not that interested in it. Um, basically what happens here is the user is going to press a button, for example, they press red, it's going to go to each one of these individual sets. There's three in each set, and because there's three buttons, and I've linked them all together. I've linked the primary reset through, the, through to them all so that you can't reset, like you can't trigger the second one if you haven't finished triggering the first one and so on. If you're using this as just a primarily a nine button combination lock, you'd be better to build one that is just nine and not have to worry about the separating and all the other garbage that comes with it. Alternatively, you can build it like this and link the resets together by just doing that. I wouldn't suggest it. It would be a lot of waste. It would be a big waste of time and space compared to designing something that's, you know, this small. So, when the user presses the red button, it's going to go in here and it's going to trigger the the first one or the second one, whatever one it's linked to. If it's the correct one, it's going to turn it off. When all three have been inputted correctly in the right order, it's going to turn this output here off. One second here. Okay. Okay. I can't, apparently can't spell today. There we go. And we'll make it day two. Okay, so when all three of these are off, it's going to turn this output off. When this output, when all three of these outputs are off, so when all, you know, nine of these inputs have been inputted correctly, this turns on, the door opens, or whatever you want it linked to. I've also put on a light for each sequence here, so that, or for, sorry, for each set, so that the user can see what's happening, or you can also link each one to a wall, for example, so that you can have a hallway and you have it multi divided X amount of times, and each time they enter a correct input or the right, you know, combination for each section, it opens another one. The possibilities are endless. So the, us the user presses it and, and all is well and good. The first time I designed this, I designed it very fast and there actually is a bug in it. When you enter the combination and your last, the last digit of the combination you're entering for the first sequence is the same as the first digit for the second sequence, it automatically triggers the first digit, which is not what you want. I've added... Um, a little bit of a protection mechanism in here as well, which is this part right here. Basically, so if the first one, or the previous one, depending how far in you are, hasn't been triggered, these in these inputs can't be triggered into this combination lock at all until the other one's been turned off. I'm going to demonstrate that for you right here. So let's say this is the input here from a button, and this is coming from the previous sequence. So let's say it's it's been completely entered correctly. So you can, you know, input into this as many times as you want, it's going to turn it off the whole nine yards. If it hasn't been, if the first section or the previous section hasn't been logged in, finished, completed, so on, the output stays off indefinitely. We do that by reversing the input, running it through this, which will always turn it on, and reversing it again, so it's always off very simple gate and simple procedure but it protects from other things that can happen as well as it stops all the redstone logic for multiple ones until you know it only does one set at a time which is you know really convenient for people with low power computers and internet connections to line yards so this is the this is my little skeleton layout I've designed here I've thrown out um, colored ground so that we can see sorry, wool, so we can see the uh, where the redstone's going. Basically, we're going to hook these up here, finish this combination lock, 
I'm going to show you how to wire the protection system for the second one and you should be able to repeat that as many times as you want. Um, I've had you know is I've been playing with this for a couple hours and I haven't been able to have it broken yet not to say that I haven't thought of something so by all means if you find something do tell <laughs> As always, I'm open to suggestions to my design, suggestions for what to build, um, you know, comments, pretty well anything. So I'm going to build this really quickly. If you watch my last video, this will be exceptionally boring for you, so I'm going to try and do this a little fast. Do this. I'll just do this all in one color. No need to make it look pretty. Okay, and as well, I have d I have discovered a small little bug in my combination lock, which is easily fixable. If you're on a multiplayer server and it's really laggy, the combination lock will not reset, or you can't enter anything, it constantly resets. It's fixable by just placing a repeater there. You don't need to increase the delay or anything like that, it'll work just like that. Very simple fix to a very frustrating problem for some. Well, there we are. Throw on a couple more torches and we're done. So there's our output right there. As well, here's the reset for the uh, failsafe. There we are. And this is the wire coming from the pressure plate. So again, you just trigger that and it will reset it all the way down to as many as you have configured into the same reset line. So that's done. It's that easy. So. I'm going to hook this into down here, which just basically runs right over to here. So we're going to we're going to stop the uh, the input coming into the second one here. So we're going to bring this up, and here's a neat trick for people who don't know: you can go vertical with redstone with um, slabs, just like that, and we're going to go there as well, just like that. I'm going to throw on a repeater and a block. Repeater, block, repeater, block. There we go. So, anything we put here will be immediately turned on. So we're going to place that. Invert any incoming signal. And reconvert it again. And there we are. So any, if I were to place a torch here, the output doesn't change at all. And it won't until we trigger these three off. So we've gone red, green, blue is a very simple combination entry. And that's not triggering. Probably because I didn't finish my RS not latches. I didn't. Bing, bing, bing. It's amazing what happens when you forget to do something. <laughs> so there we go. Red's off greens off and blues off now okay so as you'll see this is turned off so when I trigger this input that that repeater comes on it's just like that and if I were to go over here and step on this pressure plate those come back on because this is now reset so you basically just need to mirror that and you can run the wires however you want and however many you want you can have a thousand different buttons all lined up and you know if you do that and I want to send me a, a picture of it or something because a thousand would be pretty impressive. It's a lot of wire. <laughs> so that's it. It's, uh, it looks a little intimidating at first but it's a very simple design and you can have either it do something as a group or have each set do something individually and there's multiple protections in place for you know people trying to just press buttons. So there you are. Um, Again, I'm open to comments, suggestions, you know, you want me to build something, try to build something, even, you know, a weird redstone design. I'd love to look at it, you know, need some help or anything. Just uh, let me know. Comment, PM, all nine yards. Thank you, and uh, subscribe.